Okay, so we've talked about the examination and we've talked about looking at the mobility of the kneecap. Now I want to um, just show you how you might examine some of the structures a little bit higher up, um, especially looking at uh, weakness in these areas that can have a huge influence on the way the kneecap moves across the joint and potentially an injury. Now what I'm going to ask Lisa to do here now is I'm going to get her to do a, a single leg squat. What we should be able to see here is when she's on one leg and she does a squat, she should be able to align her kneecap very nicely over her foot. In other words, she should have a nice smooth transition, keep the, the structures um, more distally and proximally nicely aligned so that she's not in any way stressing the kneecap. So I'll just get you to do that for me, just on one leg and then just do a single leg squat. Okay, so that's not too bad at all. You can actually see, one more time for me please, you can actually see that she's able to control that not too badly. Now it's very important that you should not necessarily be focusing on the knee. Get some idea of what the knee's doing, but have a look what's going um, higher up the system here. So what is she actually doing at the level of her, her hip? Now I'm going to ask Lisa to exaggerate this a bit now. So second time round, um, show me what you do when you actually fall in the hole. So this is what we commonly see. One more time for me. So you can see that the kneecap is now moving, the knee is moving uh, towards the midline, so the knee is actually moving in that direction. Uh, the hip is then moving into um, uh, adductions, uh, so it's moving into valgus. Um, all the structures up around here are not functioning very well. That's very, very indicative that she's got some weakness in her gluteals and particularly in gluteus medius. These are very important controlling muscles in gait. The reason we're talking about this, this is just obviously static or, or it's dynamic uh, testing, but uh, she's not actually moving forward. But what you see in this test is exactly what you'll see when the athlete runs. Another really good test to do, which we won't demonstrate right now, is lunge walking. So in other words, just getting somebody to lunge as they walk and seeing what goes on at the level of their hips. If you observe this when you're testing for patellofemoral pain, you must address it, okay? You will not get a decent result just by using an orthotic device. Okay, that's in a nutshell.